In today's video, I have evidence of the cube, the dark matter returning to Fortnite Battle Royale. You are not going to want to miss this. Do not go anywhere, guys. It's going to be such an incredible video. If you guys are new around here, both 80% of you guys watching the channel right now aren't subscribed. Tap that subscribe button. Let's get to 650,000 subscribers. I produce daily, legit, reliable Fortnite content. So if you're into that sort of stuff, you're at your right place right here. Okay, let's start off with what we've got. Now, I'm not just going to sit here for the next 20 minutes and talk about what happened during the event because everyone already knows what happened during the event. We've all seen it. We've all probably re watched it in the game there are some questions to ask during the event though that did happen and just to quickly summarize it for anyone that hasn't seen it basically jonesy was sent in with all of his hunters and team to actually restabilize the zero point io unfortunately were not getting in contact with him correctly and weren't providing him enough resources to do it himself so Jonesy sadly had to summon in one of the seven members who did arrive down and obviously their intentions with the zero point is completely different to IO's intentions. But luckily enough, Jonesy got lucky and teamed up with one of the seven members to actually restabilize it. Who knows if this was the foundation's actual intentions with the zero point because it did go a little bit wrong for him. He didn't have enough power to actually contain it fully. So he had to basically had to seal the zero point, overload the device, which would actually cause everyone to be looped again. And that's where the event ends probably the most key point in the whole event is the ending with that cliffhanger of what's going to happen next questions like who is jenna that we see jonesy shout right here jenna! i can get you to jenna and the sisters i can get you all of them but i need your help to fix that and also, who are the sisters? The name Dr. Sloan also pops up in the subtitles at the start of the trailer. Now, could Dr. Sloan possibly be Jenna? That's a really good question. Or could it possibly be a different character, one of the sisters maybe, or even someone else in the Fortnite storyline, maybe at the IO faction that we just don't know. Now, last season, loads of you were commenting that Ramirez was Agent Jonesy's boss, but now we know Dr. Sloan is definitely gonna have its unique skin. It may have a Ramirez outline, but I highly doubt it. So at least it gets rid of that newbie theory. Now on the topic of skins, the foundation has actually been found inside of the files and as the skin itself, the description reads, his sacrifice won't be forgotten, leader of the seven. Sadly, he was trapped inside of the zero point with Jones actually sealing up the zero point and overloading the device, which caused the loop to continue. So IO kind of got their way at the very end, I guess, or did they? Now that's what we're gonna explore next on how Kevin could possibly return and the dark matter. Would IO have stepped in? if the seven weren't called in. I think, yes, the IO are always watching, as we know. The IO are constantly watching us in the world of Fortnite. The foundation didn't come down in his meteor just to save Jones at IO. He came down to take control of that zero point and access the bridge and get outside of the loop. That was his job. That's what he wanted to do. He didn't want to restabilize it. We saw during the infinite bloom, he could not control it. So that's pretty clear on what happened right there. But the question is now, IO technically don't have control of this zero point. The seven kind of have control of it. He did have to sacrifice himself to cover it up, but neither do IO. So, you know, the zero point currently is not exposed, but sat there at the top of the spire. So someone has got to come in and control this zero point. And now it is time for me to reveal my theory, which I've had for so long. I've been spending the whole of season five researching this, and it's just been absolutely insane. So if you see other people talking about this, class it as post theory, guys. This has taken so long for me to come up with, but this all relates to the dark matter. In the chapter two season five trailer, we also see the confirmation that IO have control over the signature dark matter element. Kevin. Now for this to be told, we've got to jump back to the season four event when the rocket crashes into the sky and opens up a giant rift slash portal in the air. You can see it at the top of the island, this giant rift slash portal. But what's really funny about this is IO said, you know what, we don't want this open because if this is going to be left open, members of the seven are going to come back through and tamper with the zero point and take control and then escape the loop by accessing the bridge. However, that's not going to be the case because what IO did was activate their signature lightning, which actually closed off the rift. And that was the birth of Kevin. That's what their signature lightning had to do. It had to summon this giant cube, obviously to close off the matter in the sky, which was all sucked into this giant cube, which eventually ended in a peaceful area at Loot Lake. You know, when Kevin did explode in the season six event, and then it took all the way until the monster in season nine to actually destabilize the zero point once again, when the robot had to use it 
it to defeat the monster. So this all led to that point, which was really key, because then when the zero point had finally destabilized, which makes me think that possibly the seven could have called in the monster to actually reactivate kind of an attempt at the zero point, because obviously maybe the seven has something to do with that. I don't know, that's a whole new theory, but obviously the zero point got exposed again, allowing the seven to actually come back and carry on with their plan, which was the end event. And again, IO stepped in and stopped the seven from actually completing their full plan with the end event. So obviously they failed to escape the loop again. Once again, the seven are still stuck inside of here. We see this during the start of chapter two, season one. I've explored this many times in storyline videos, but not many people have really picked up on this, but it actually said all of this text right here. And you can see, obviously they rearranged the matter and this allows them to recontrol the zero point at IO. And therefore the seven do fail again with the end event. So since then there hasn't really been much. And then we see the device event, which is in season two, where Midas has a shot of expanding the storm trying to escape the loop that way by messing and tampering with the storm but he again fails and how does he fail well it's the signature pink lightning once again from io check this clip out right here because as soon as this lightning hits that zero point the tone of the music changes everything changes jonesy's plan changes they seem much more chilled in the office and everything is perfect so it's crazy to think that this purple lightning has actually affected it twice now the event it's crazy to think that that it's just that purple lightning has controlled everything but now we're in a situation where the zero point is in like a weird spot they've got to try and gain control of this and their only way of doing this is by probably using the purple lightning dark matter again because they're not going to have the resources and time to send more people into the loop most likely not they're going to need something a bit bigger so io are most likely going to use the dark matter once again which is kevin it is kevin it doesn't have to be in the form of kevin it could be circles it could be balls it could be triangles it could be crosses it could be anything who knows it could be anything at all the shape could be absolutely anything and it just has to just get access to the zero point or get access to the structure holding the zero point and then io can control it again so this is what we're going to see throughout season six throughout season seven throughout season eight until chapter three now this battle for that zero point if we look at the battle pass this season, you see several items, skins, emotes that all link to the dark matter. It's pretty obvious why this is in the battle pass. The IO team are going to use this once again to actually get access to the zero point and control it to destroy this weird structure around the zero point, which they've currently got. And they're going to need to take that out and actually gain access to it and restabilize it. Obviously restabilizing the zero point and resealing the bridge so they can control it once again. It's a battle between the seven and IO currently. Well, IO are always victims victorious currently but will the seven actually switch that up and get access to it we also see in the battle pass the skin raz on a mission to uncover the spire's secrets the spire's secrets are definitely something that io would want to investigate so possibly raz is part of io we also see his emote which looks like it's investigating the symbols of the cube and even supporting his evidence even further in the trailer for season six you can actually see elements of the cube in it you can see little pictures of it right here it's actually crazy in the stream you can see it kind of purple themed and also an element or at least one of the signature symbols inside of the lake a little side note about all the marvel stuff and that it really didn't affect it too much galactus did come in and he wanted the power of the zero point and luckily enough the avengers also arrived and they actually stopped it as well so it was kind of a cross between them both really avengers and the galactus really had nothing to do with io they were just keeping the loop sealed so nothing would come out of it and you can kind of see io as the good people i feel like that but sometimes you can see the seven as the good people as well we don't really know if the zero point is a good place to be is it good to be inside the loop or is it not no, who knows exactly obviously marvel didn't want to tamper with the reality too much because they got out pretty quickly they stayed for one season galactus tried to tamper with it the avengers stopped him and they didn't want it anything more they just wanted to get out of here asap which they did so yeah i think that was quite cool and kind of a little side point to note just i just thought i'd say that just to mention it about season four i know a few people always ask about that so i thought that was an honorable mention as well as well as people sending me this as well several people have sent me this now i was first sent it by humble piggy who always gets featured in these videos but he actually uh, provided a few different ones and the sony people sent me this so this is a drawing of the cube layout of all the different pois which i think is just a coincidence but obviously i don't think the cube's coming back but i do think the purple lightning is going to do something with dark matter and the signature lightning is going to allow something to happen you know who knows exactly where it's going to hit and how it's all going to access on the spire but i do think there is going to be something that's going to happen towards the end of the season not now we'll start to see small things start to happen and then we will get maybe an event at the start of season seven or at the end of season six who knows exactly but i'm very excited to see the battle between io and the remaining six of the seven if there are seven of them we don't 
100% know if it's a faction or not, but it's nice to see this. I'd love to know your theories in the comment section down below. This video has taken a very long time, and if you see anyone else talking about my lightning theory, do remember, if you can credit me, guys, it really will mean a lot. Honestly, when I say I've been researching this for the whole of Season 5, I have. I've been crafting a crazy video on it, and I just thought I'd squeeze it in in today's video because it really has put a lot of time and effort into this. So, fellow Storyline YouTubers, if you do see it, thank you so much, guys. If you did enjoy today's Storyline video and want to support the content further, do pop in code postbox pat to your item shop. This sort of stuff takes so long to do and I'm working on huge theories for you guys all the time. So make sure you are supporting me in the item shop with code postbox pat if you enjoy this sort of stuff. Hashtag Epic Games Partner. Thank you anyone considering to do that. And comment down below, do you think there are more than seven of the seven? Do you think it's some sort of faction? Or do you generally just think it's seven scientists or seven crazy geezers who have been put inside this loop because they've been formed accidentally maybe and they're trying to break out and basically destruct IO and get outside the loop by accessing the bridge and obviously completely making this mess for them crazy and getting into that real world. Do you think that or not? Let me know in the comments. I'd like to know your theories. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And once again, this is Postbox Pat signing out.